Do you want to implement a chat function in your app that is not limited to text chat, but also allows you to send emoticons, videos, and photos to friends? You can achieve this functionality through Tencent RTC. If you are interested, you can spend a few minutes following this video to try running our demo. To follow this video and run the demo, you need to download Android Studio in advance. First, open the homepage of trtc.io, click on Chat, open the documentation for Chat. Select Android. In the left sidebar, select Run Demo. I will guide you through this document on how to quickly run our demo. Step 1. Create an application. Click on Chat Console. Click on Create Application. Now, let's start creating an application in this window. First, select Chat. Enter the name you want for your application in the Application Name field above. Select the free trial version and confirm your deployment region. Click Create to create the app. Step 2. Obtain SD ID and SDK Secret Key. After creation, go back to All Applications. Select the application you just created. Here, you can see the basic information of this app. We will use the SD Cap ID and SDK Secret Key later. Next, let's start creating two accounts that will be used to run the demo later. In the left sidebar, select Chat. Click on Users. Click on Create Account. Enter username and nickname. Click Confirm, and we have successfully created an account. Click Create Account again. We need to create a new account to chat with the previous account. Create this account using the same method as before. In this way, we have obtained two chat accounts. Step 3. Download and configure the demo. Click on the Android Demo Project in our product documentation to jump to GitHub. Copy the URL here. Open your terminal. Enter git clone in the terminal and paste the URL you just copied. Wait for the download to complete, and now we need to open the downloaded project in Android Studio. Open Android Studio. Click on Open. Select the project folder you just downloaded. Select Demo. Click on Open. Select App, Java, Signature, Generate Test User SIG. Return to the console. Copy the SDK ID and SDK secret key we obtained earlier and paste them into Generate Test User SIG. Step 4. Compile and run the demo. Make sure your computer and phone are connected. In USB Connected, select Files. In the Phone's Developer Options, turn on the USB Debugging option. At this point, your phone model will be displayed in Android Studio. Run the project. Wait for the loading to finish. Confirm to download our demo file in the pop-up window that appears on the phone. Open the file and enter the account we just created. Click Log In. If you cannot log in, please check your network connection. After successfully logging in, click the plus icon in the upper right corner. Select Add Contact. Enter the other account you created earlier and click Search. Click Send, and you have successfully added the other account you created as your contact. Go back to Contact and select the contact you just added. Click Message. Then you can send messages to the other party. Click the emoji icon to the right of the input box, and you can also send emojis to the other party. Click the camera icon to take a photo and share it with the other party. You can also add alias to the other party on their personal profile page. If you are interested in our product, you can learn more about its features in the documentation.